Hello, welcome back. I'm Rachel. You're watching Calkind TV live from Sydney. This is the Stocks in Action show. Let's have a look at the ASX 200 and the ASX listed stocks that are trending today. The S&P ASX 200 is up today, gaining 24.30 points or 0.35% to 7,038.50. That's at 10.34 Australian Eastern Standard Time. The top performing stocks in this index are Ampol up 7.98% and Viva Energy at 7.79%. The index has lost 1.87% for the last five days, but sits 1.87% below its 52-week high. All 11 sectors are higher today, along with the S&P ASX 200 index. Consumer discretionary is the best-performing sector, gaining 1.36% and 0.05% for the last five days. On that note, let's take a look at some major news from the ASX listed companies today. Mining sector will be dominating the stocks in action session along with healthcare and telecommunications. So let's get started. New Zealand telecommunications company Chorus has made maximum allowable revenue submission for the first regulatory period from 2022 to 2024 with the Commerce Commission in late March. The company has declared this on the basis of the Conservative started regulated asset base of $5.5 billion. The company believes that the maximum allowable revenue should show strong growth to better reflect the cost of building its UFB network. During the period, annual revenue range of $720 million to $820 million is reflected in their submission. Cora stock last traded at $5.84 at 10.34 this morning, Australian time. Moving on now, Essential Metals has added 700 metres of strike at Juggler Dome, God's Prospect near Kalgoorlie in Western Australia. The well-funded and active explorer has received assays for a 24 shallow air core holes program, which has added an extra 700 metres of strike to the God's Porphyry into an area of thin alluvial cover. The Jungla Dome air core drill results indicate that the Guards Porphyry Gold Prospect has a near-surface strike extent of more than one kilometre and it remains open to the south. The company will now undertake a reverse circulation drilling program to drill through the porphyry that has previously indicated thickness of up to 40 metres. Through this, Essential Metals expects to receive thicker and higher grade intersections to test the bedrock, as demonstrated in the December 2020 drill program. Stock in Essential Metals last traded at $0.09 cents at 10.34 this morning Australian time. Now, Oclu Resources shared upbeat results from metallurgical test work on their SK-1 mineralization at the SECO within the company's flagship Danoco project located in West Mali in Africa. Let's look at some of the key highlights there. At Oaklu Resources, they've reported the SK-1 showcases straightforward, non-refractory metallurgical character characteristics with a likely processing route incorporating a simple industry cyanide leach circuit. Oxide mineralization at SK-1 achieved excellent leach recovering in excess of 97% at a coarse grind size and at finer grind sizes. This shows that the material is not grind sensitive. Oakley Resources stock last traded at 12.5 cents per share at 10.34 this morning. Moving on now, Great Western Exploration has received assay results from the Maiden Drill Program at the Golden Bullock Gold Target, which tested the western side of the Gold Target. The drilling intersected granodorite that is strongly folated in places while the majority of the low-level anomalous gold encountered was within the laterite profile that is overlying the granodorite. The results of a second sampling program have helped delineating seven new drill targets through the eastern side at the Golden Bullock area. Great Western Exploration now intends to drill these seven new targets in the September quarter of the current year. Great Western Exploration stock last traded at 13 cents at 10.34 this morning. Moving on now, 
Antio Tech is in the news today after signing a manufacturing contract for its COVID-19 antigen rapid test with contract manufacturer Operon. They're based in Zaragoza in Spain. This three-year manufacturing agreement with Operon establishes a key relationship with Antio Tech's EU Genie manufacturing strategy. Operon has a manufacturing capacity of 8 million complete tests per annum and a test strip of production capacity of approximately 20 million lateral flow strips per year. This capacity will provide Antio Tech to fulfill initial demand for the Eugenie art and an option to scale manufacturing across the Eugenie test site to meet anticipated sales. Currently, Operon is operating Eugenie COVID-19 ART tests to supply all sample and market seeding activities being undertaken around the world. Shares in Antio Tech last traded at 34.5 cents per share at 10.34 this morning. That's all from me for now. Stay tuned with Calkine TV for more live market updates. We'll be back very shortly with more news on the markets, the economy and diverse themes and sectors. I'm Rachel signing off for Calkine TV for now.